What's up, y'all? Got a film of the feast, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Messy Monday, and yes, child, I know my eyes look like I haven't gotten any sleep because I haven't. <laughs> let's get it. Girl, it is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's, lot, lot going on. it's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'm a talk. I'm a sugar honey iced tea. Do you want to sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't stick with me. Come on, girls. Let's get Hey creeps and welcome back to yes, Monday outfit. Monday. As you already know, you can't fit with me unless you are POP and that yes, is hat. pretty on purpose. How you yes, no, I know I haven't done it in a long time, but it's the Zodiac songs and this is Libra season. No, calm down. I'm not about to do it. I just want to say shout out to the Libra. This is y'all season. So go in the comments. If you're a Libra, put your sign up, your birthday, meet your other Libras, honey, and y'all turn the f up. Now, let me go on and shout out my friend, and that is Kayla J. Hey. Kayla J, thank you so much for having my post notifications on, honey. Y'all be busting that dough down for that first comment, and you made it, girl. And I just want to say thank you so much for having those on. I greatly appreciate that. Without you guys, Missy Monday would not be here because there would be nobody watching. There's so many trying to duplicate and imitate, but honey, there's only one original, and I just love you for loving on me. So y'all, hit over there, show her some love, retweet, like, comment, whatever the case may be. So again, girl, you are always gonna be my friend. Hey. Oh. Right, now I ain't gonna hold y'all too much longer. Let's gonna get to y'all favorite part, and that is the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls love staying and in some the First for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Jessica and Bree. Girl, I'm in. Go back. So Miss Mama's want to go on her Snapchat and do a Q&A. No guys, we are not planning on having kids. Okay, we're still young. Girl, you tried it. You ain't planning on having kids because you still young. But I got but married. You go and get engaged and married, which is a big responsibility in the set. You know the what? And people think because they see my pictures today, they see a little freaking thing, a pudge, because my dress was so tight. But I'm very much bloated because I'm on my period. I can't stand away this girl talk. She just be sounding like she ate, and I feel like she need to be talking to my daughters or something, not me. And that happened. Which she ain't talking to me, but I'm listening. So, no, we're not planning on having kids anytime soon. Do we want kids? Yes, maybe in, like, years from now, but not right now. But, yes, I am very much bloated because I'm on my period. Jessica, you, you, <laughs> a period on your wedding day, and then you have on a yeah, you might just <laughs> be a life flower. I ain't even think about that, y'all. I haven't let her finish what she was saying. I always skip it. Oh, uh, uh, white dress on your period wedding day. At this point, y'all, there's nothing you can do about it. Everybody needs to just shut up and leave it alone. Y'all said y'all rushed in the beginning, but now you rushing a marriage. So we had our engagement in the morning and then two hours after that we had our ceremony but no one recorded because you know that was a special moment but we're having our big wedding next year. I wonder why. <laughs> because you low key ain't stupid but you acting stupid. Now she doing all this because she knows this is bringing in views. Her, I really believe her and him are in cahoots on playing in our faces. You hear what I'm saying? Now, Snapchat, you make a lot of money. And all these views are going there looking, oh, sh she pregnant. Oh, she got married. Oh, she got engaged. So we just wanted to hurry, hurry up and get married because why wait? Why be a fiance for years, you know? There was no wedding because, yes, she might be engaged right now. 
But they did all that to f with us. But hold on, listen to this. Honestly, I feel really good. Like, I'm a whole wife out here. Girl, hey, how do you please. Feel? I feel amazing. It feels like weight is lifted off my shoulders. I feel so... It just feels so nice to come together before God as one. Mm -hmm. so yes, guys, we're trying to do everything right. Period. Now, what you mean? We trying to do everything right. That's why I ain't believe in you, sister, when you say you not pregnant. Mm -hmm. Cause a lot of y'all YouTubers and celebrity people do that. Y'all like to say, I'm not pregnant. No, I'm not. I ain't bloated. I mean, a, a lot of them have done that and turn around. Yes, they have. They be lying. everybody face and be pregnant. So the streets feel you get engaged, you get married, Comes the baby, so now people can't let me cut my lights up. Baby mama, woo woo woo, girl, girl. Y'all, at this point, we ain't even calling her Jessica no more. Her name is Sheila from Why Did I Get Married? If Sheila went up that mountain to go get her husband to say that marriage, why can't this girl drive for ya? <laughs> but if y'all know how that movie goes, we know how this gonna go. All right. Well, if it ain't about me, we'll wait a couple of months to see if we're going to have a baby. Okay. Next for the sugar honey ice tea. I ain't going to lie, y'all. It's giving pregnant. I'm been trying to figure my lights out because I'm not understanding why it's so dark here. Do y'all ever hear Mango when he be chasing them? Anyhow, um, it's giving they hiding something. So we, we shall see. We going to find out. Today we have our wave and Barbie child. I don't know if y'all remember, but you know, a while back we had discussed this situation, but now it's coming up again. So Rod Wave back in June had posted up this video on his story with a girl that had a monkey on her face. Everybody was like, Child, why is you <laughs> Child, why is you posting that girl over there monkey on her face? And we can clearly see the next one say, Minnie Barbie, stupid. So then he come back and he say, y'all done got me in trouble. Nigga, we didn't get you in shit. You did that yourself. So then a couple of months later, D, which is his baby mama, she came out and she had said, it hurts so bad to tell the man you love the most that everything you felt for them is gone. That shit hurts so bad, but I got to choose myself for my happiness. I wish everybody the best in this situation. I just want a motherfucker to leave me and my happiness alone. Sorry to my daughters, but I am choosing my happiness over all of this. Word on the curve is... She been dealing with this for five years. Now, I don't know if y'all remember, it was the alleged that he had choked her from the children. He done took this girl through hell and high water. So, I don't know. So, he ends up dropping the song Passport Junkie. It's one thing to do it, but it's a whole nother thing to <clears throat> post about it. I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. Niggas are so stupid. And it's we gagging because we... <laughs> but Passport Junkie is about... You know, though. But now it don't stop them. The people then start digging and dipping, and they like, wait a minute. And I be damned. Our friend is allegedly about Mari, which is Minnie Barbie's name, and I ran backward. Now, Rod Wave, how the hell is you out here making all these love songs about how you going through this, you depressed, and your heart broke, but nigga, you the one and what I'm not getting is all these songs about D and all this you don't put her through when she dealt with and you go and tell this little trick that oh my god I, if I had all your pictures I'll put them on the wall some say I might not be your speed and I'm out your league nigga she 21 how do what whoa wait a minute I'm okay catch me up now Rod about Mari which is I ran Minnie Barbie's recent TikTok. Nari and Zari's mom. Man, comments on the mini. Not right away, keeping you a secret like girl. He did not leave D for you. LMAO, we know Rod is doing this, boo. I ran equals Nari backward. Mm. Minnie Barbie's name. All this you don't put her through when she dealt with, and you go and tell this little trick that, oh my God, I, I 
had all your pictures, I'll put them on the wall. The song said I might not be your speed and I'm out your league. Nigga, she 21. <laughs> how the fuck is she? And how old is he? <laughs> what? So many flaws and insecurities. I'm yours sincerely. You gotta. I ought to knock you for a chance. Tell me what I gotta do, cause I'll do it all. Might spend an M or two and even hit the gym for you. Ah, uh, yeah. Rod, you know. Rod. Even hit the gym? Shouldn't you? Shouldn't you? Shouldn't we just already be in the gym, Rod? Know what? Now you just talking. Shit. You trying to make D mad? That's, I see what's going on. And now he going around posting rings. We don't know what the ring means. Whatever the case may be, Rod ain't who Rod say he is in these songs. And baby, he didn't stop there. He gonna post this up. If you gonna leave, I'll be with my Nari. This man is playing in D face. D. Wait, what? You gonna leave? I'll be with my Nari. This man is playing in D face. D. Baby, if you really don't get up and go, everything that happens to you is supposed to happen because you are allowing it to happen. And the people ain't letting up. They're like, okay, girl, but well, why can't we see the man behind all these nice lifestyle things that you're doing? And she gonna say, oh, because people like eating. No, nah, girl, because you over here with somebody that you told us you weren't with and that you been creeping with and you stole from somebody else. You ain't fooling me, baby. Uh, gonna- you can't steal somebody that, that, um, you can't steal somebody that don't belong to you. Oh, you is. There's too many contest clues. <laughs> Hello, all I gotta do is tic tac toe. You the ho- so, honey, as you can see, she's over here posted up at the same stadium where Rod Wade was having his concert. People was clocking that. They was like, "Oh, that's the same wall that he was at for his concert." And not only that, boom, they caught her walking out with him. So, honey, y'all might as well just go. I don't know how they don't be thinking this nigga can do this same thing he doing to her, same thing we doing to her. Hello, we. <clears throat> he can do that to me. Who got time for that? Say what it is and what it is is what it is and just leave it alone, girl. He's just settling for you because girl that he want is not wanting him right now. Oh, girl, you'll be moved to the side, but guess what? She won't be gone. So you might as well go on and stay where you at, and let Miss Thing do what she do. All right. Well, if it ain't about me, girl, you better keep getting right waves. Money. <laughs> Next game. Next with a sugar on the iced tea, we have Tootsie, child, Tootsie on oh my last, last nerve. Nerve. Oh, so Tootsie, Tootsie out here just doing side quests, allegedly. Tootsie done came to the internet and told the folks that he is now an ordained minister. Love her unconditionally. To cherish her always. And be the greatest champion of good and bad times. For as long as y'all show me. Now, Tootsie, I don't know who the f you think you fool. <laughs> <laughs> promoting his song. Okay. Promoting his stupid. The dumbest promotion I done ever seen. Who on his promotion scene? That shit is so pathetic. Oh, he just make me want to tweak it. Oh, he just make me want to choke the shit out of him. <laughs> Why is he so handsome but so stupid? Let your love be a beacon of hope and a testament to enduring power of a human connection. May we have the rings? By the great New York. Over there, dead ass serious too. Husband and wife, you may kiss the bride. I ain't liking it. <laughs> I can feel the damn read. Okay, well, if y'all want to believe it, y'all believe it. I'll be looking for the video soon. Oh, okay. If it ain't about me, 
Let's keep eating. Okay. Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Rick Ross and Just Williams. I am not about to sit here and say anything. I'm gonna let y'all see this and then you tell me what you think. What's up, y'all? <laughs> I would not want to kiss that man. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> do it. I know a fake laugh for the money when I see one. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that. Do it. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ricky Rose in the building, the biggest you already know what it is, Nino Breeze. <laughs> hey, but that was that was good. I didn't even want to look at that nigga. Uh, birthday girl. Oh my god. Get off her neck. He just sitting back there like nail. And then them toothers just be like. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, <laughs> I know I ain't got them veneers. I don't, I don't want them. <laughs> I don't, I ain't, yeah, I'm like, like, bro, who got time? Oh, I hate it. I really do. Oh, God, leave me alone. All right, God, appreciate it. <laughs> I know All the other parts went that. through right. except uh, okay, part two. All these kisses wanted to cut when it's the cuts <laughs> I need you to lighten up, Miss Nell. You think you slick. Yeah, 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 you are such right, right, little bit. That's the second dog. She like, okay, I'm trying I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> you see how easy it is. You see how you see that? You caught that though. You caught yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, right yeah, you there, I feel that, like though. he was trying to smell to see if his breath stank. Um, I feel, I feel he was trying to. I don't even know how he about to get a nap. You gotta go there at seven o'clock. Go to sleep. Sniff this out, okay, bitch. I see you moving my breast thing or what? That's just me. I'm just trying. Don't make me no mind. I did. It's the birthday girl right here. We celebrating up. Let me get it right for real. We started early. Come on. Late. She was disgusted. Oh, really? You, you ready for right this? Now. Let's go. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ricky Rose, the biggest in the building. You already know what time it is. The Facts. biggest. Facts. Make sure y'all tap into. The biggest. <laughs> Did her head just fall on tap the Tap into. The biggest. <laughs> oh. She trying her best to get the hell away from him. Fantasia Loaf laughing like that. Fantasia Loaf is hilarious. Now, Rick Ross then comes up and he posts up this right here. I ain't never had hot syrup. Come on now. This hot syrup. I got a question. Fellas. Every time he get a new woman, he got a show she cooking. Niggas really be wanting women, bro. <laughs> Mm. When I say that, they really be wanting a wife. Now, she did that wrong for putting 16 pieces of bacon on that man's plate. He don't need no more than two pieces of bacon. And they need to be half pieces, them whole pieces of bacon right there. The nerve to have a little watermelon, a little pineapple on there. Girl. Oh. <laughs> a woman can't cook. Do you keep her? And then always do that, though. Get a woman that... God, the camera hot again. I do not want the air on. Y'all, the camera is hot because of the lights. The lights is in between. I'm going to have to change out where the lights at. But right now, I got to cut on the air. But, bruh. She deserve to be spoiled. If you hustling all week and you wake up halfway through the day and ain't nothing up there for you to eat. And we ain't even talking about the hot syrup. I don't know if this haircut <laughs> cooked all that, but if she did, girl, he gonna need some more toast. <laughs> but maybe he just trying to make hamburger help a jealous. I don't know. Whatever Got it. to be. And that was what I was about to say. Like, every time they get a new woman, they got to put on camera. 
and showing that she can cook or like, uh, and don't have a next week. The case may be, it seems as though he's done moved on for a little 30 minutes and it is what it is. If it ain't about me, That's so let's sweet. keep keep this cat. Next for the Shigani Ice Tea, we have Big Boogie and Monet. Now, for those who don't know, Monet is his ex, but she said during those two years, she had caught an STD from him, allegedly, and also had an abortion, and she did all that at the same time. I wasn't the main one. I, I was the top-notch one. Like, so what do you I mean, top-notch? So he, he had a girlfriend at home, but, like, like, nobody knows the girlfriend. Nobody never sees a girlfriend. He's never public with a girlfriend, but everybody else can go public with him, can go to shows with him, can post up with him. So it was like, what kind of damn lifestyle is this? <laughs> she been around for a long time. I give that to her. She been around, she be holding it down. I would never do that personally, but yeah, she been around through when he had his baby. Um, it was multiple girls, but I want to rewind it back. Like yeah, when I first a, met him. Yeah, talk about um, that. When did you We were just meet friends. Him? So um, I think I got invited to a video shoot. They wanted me to do the video shoot. Okay. I got to the video shoot and it wasn't it for me, for my mm -hmm. standards. Mm -hmm. So I didn't do the video shoot. I just played on the side or whatever. Mm -hmm. But we ain't really conversate like that. And then after a while, like, you know, we just got close and close. And then July 4th of 2022, that's when um, he made his advance and we started talking. He was like, he wanted me to himself. And I was like, but your girlfriend, he was like, oh, well, she not really a factor. And you know, if you gonna be my down, my down <laughs> bitch, then that's mine for life. It sounds like you was in love until he burned you. I was still in love after the S. I was still in love with him. But um, you didn't do nothing with him wrong. He was using protection after that, so I'm not. I, I'm not sure. We weren't really doing it like that, cause in the back of my head, I just be thinking about like these other bitches. And then like crazy part is when I did go to the clinic, I was pregnant. I was supposed to take an after pill. I didn't. So you know, I got rid of it and I got rid of my. You had an abortion. Mm, I did. So you aborted the baby and the ST at the same time. Mm. Now, mind you, she said she was dating him up until he got with Carmen and came out with her publicly. Now, in her words, she said that he's just using Carmen like he do all the other women. You know, Big Boogie is publicly with Carmen Pritchett. What, for publicity? Uh, is it publicity? Come on now. Is she even divorced yet? And are we got to ask. Relationship? I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I just don't feel like this is tea. Corey, we it's have just me? to ask Corey. I'm going to have to call Corey up and see how he feels about it. Now, He's you know, laughing at it. Yeah, you I just don't feel like this is tea. I feel like this is cap. <laughs> like all of it. Anybody that go on Tasha K, I don't believe nothing you say. He was dating him up until he came out with Carmen publicly. So were you still with him when he was dating Carmen behind the scenes? Because now that he came out with her publicly, why does it even matter? Are you mad because he came out with her? Publicly and not you, so now you just coming out the woodwork spilling all this tea. So child, I don't know what's going on. This is a whole lot, a whole lot of. So as she said all that, child, big booty call word about the interview. He comes out and he says, for one, this girl's not my ex. For two, on my dad, this girl is capping. For three, this girl has not seen me since 2001, 2022. For four, at this one, I'm tired of counting. <laughs> Why would you do an interview? on a person that ain't even thinking about you. Mind you, you taking my phone off of fake numbers, begging to be my woman, don't nobody want you. Ain't you the same woman that tried to use another female to get around me to get in my show? Girl, you is sick. That is why I changed my number. I don't want no deals with no sick-minded people. Because how weird are you? How are you an ex and you ain't met nobody in my family? I hope she know my sisters fight like men trying to get clapped. So honey, she saw that and she was like, okay, you know the f what? Let me handle this. So she said, okay, when lying goes wrong. Remember he said, I ain't been around nobody and that's been since 21, 22. But he said, I ain't never been around his sisters, LOL, but his sisters been with me. I, mean, I ain't been around your family, but this your mama house. What be so crazy, we already clap. covered all this for the week, y'all, and it just be like. <laughs> but had me put up in your suite at your show. Well, girl, you might have been put up in the suite at the show, but Corman been on the stage. Hello? Hello, somebody. <laughs> you said you ain't been around me since 2021, 2022, but honey, this was last year, thing. <laughs> and I get what she said, thing, because it took me back when Johnny Blaze said that his penis was stinking. Then on top of that, Johnny Blaze said the penis was stinking. She said that he gave her a well, baby, somebody ain't lying. No, nah, all that was cap. all these lies, then I think we might know who the liar is. But don't get me to say that. I'm just 
looking in the contact clues and what's in my face was just at your house thing. You know I'ma keep proofing the cut. And then let's be clear, even if he did give you an STD, you try to scare Corey to make her leave, child, word on the curb is, I don't know if you remember, if you've been watching YouTube, for Corey's allegedly burnt her suit. Uh, oh. And she stayed the same way you stayed with him when he- Corey allegedly burnt who? Child, word on the curb is, I don't know if you remember, if you've been watching YouTube, for Corey's allegedly burnt her suit. And she stayed the same way you stayed with him when he burnt you. Because you said after he burnt you, you went and got yourself fixed. But then y'all got back together, really wasn't having sex. But when y'all did, you made him put a condom on. But allegedly, you were nurse. And you said that you had sex without a condom. <laughs> Pop down, son. One thing about Carmen, she gonna stay where she wanna stay. And Who let knew send? Who knew uh, she got burned? Who is this? Is this real? Well, she want to lay because this man that gave her a whole, a whole purple car, same as his Porsche. She out here celebrating her birthday, so what you said ain't rubbed her no type of way. So, baby, just wrap this up. If he using her, she using him too. And if it ain't about me, let's kick it. Let's All right, that's all I have for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First of all, we have Shamar. Now, child, it's been a lot going on. People are out here saying that Shamar's management is using him. They said Karate is the manager's brother. She set him up with Shamar. Mind you, Shamar has now allegedly, I guess, parted ways with them. Uh, now broke the man phone. The girl, Katie, is the one that set it all up to get for Shamar to get beat up. Because she's mad because Shamar don't want to work with her no more. So, now she wants to get Karante to beat Shamar up and attack Shamar. And she also, allegedly, she not allegedly all out his house. But I'm going to go pick up Shamar right now. I told y'all about Kay. I've been telling y'all. Y'all don't be listening to me, though. Y'all, I'm trying to, y'all, huh? Shamar didn't even listen. I told Shamar how that bitch was. Before he started dealing with her, he mess with that girl. And she is a groupie, she is a lame, and get what he went to do. Oh. Told you she wasn't gonna do that. She went, she ain't helping you. Oh, your situation. She want to, she want to come up. I don't know if somebody's got his ear or whatnot. That is why the manager has came out and is saying what she's saying and why she's mad and why Karate had fought him wow. was because Shamar did not wow. want to do business with them anymore. I don't care. You believe me. You before you believe me. I'm on that way. You lie. Okay. You lie. Girl, is this the manager right here or is this? <laughs> you know what? That's fine. You lie. Whatever, Karate. Whatever, just for that. Like that, it's been a you for me. You been saying to me. You been saying that. You been saying that. You been saying that. You're my phone. No. Come over here. You're my phone. phone. What's up? No. You have me my phone. No. What's up? Wait. Karate, you Wait. Wait. my phone. I'm not trying to fight with you. You a hoe. Give me my phone. You ain't. Give me my phone. She gets shit. Now, somebody else is saying that the reason Karante fought him was because Shamar and his barber were allegedly fooling around with each other because the barber was getting the what? that Shamar had let him go because of what they was saying. And the barber was trying to tell Shamar that Karante and them weren't good people. I don't know, girl, it's a whole lot of whole So somebody was on Instagram, she had a whole conversation with Shamar's manager. And this is what they had to talk about. So how much money, if he got built for 2500 how much money would you give him? Shamar was getting a 1000 And you was keeping the rent? No. So how it, how it went is, when, when you when you doing bookings for people, you ask them what they want. Shamar only wanted $500. It don't go, it don't go like that, girl. It don't, it don't go like what? It don't want to go like that. You said it. All right, hold on. You, let me show you. Am I able to show a picture on here? No, you can't. No, 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 no. I understand what you're saying, but That's it don't how go, it go like that. I just did a deal with Black China. Black China just text, they just texted me and said, we want 30000 whatever you put on top is what you put on top. Yes, that's how it goes. That's huh? how, yes, yes, that's how it goes. I'll send it to you. That's how it goes. And people who's not in the industry would not know that that's how so I just did a deal with Black China. Black China just text, they just texted me and said, we want 30000 whatever you put on top is what you put on top. Yes, that's how it goes. Huh? That's how, 
Yes, yes, that's how it goes. I'll send it to you. Whatever that's you put on top, what does that mean? How it goes. And people who's not in the industry will not know that that's how it goes. I know. So I know, I know but okay, that's how y'all yeah. deal go. But I know it don't go like that. But okay, so let me ask you another question. Okay. Have you. Okay. So how much was you getting now? So the security was charging me thirty dollars per hour. The arm security was forty five per hour. So let me ask you a question. Why would you get a security and pay them that much and he ain't even making that much money, especially by the hour? Come on now, that didn't make sense. No security is going to work for you less than thirty. But he hours. really didn't even need security. You then y'all wouldn't have hired three securities. No, 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 no. You're not listening. Like you just said, hold on, like you just said, Shamar is a viral moment. Shamar is very viral. So when he went to New Orleans and when he go out of state, he gets way more love than he gets at home. So anytime we go out of state, it's a whole bunch of people running up to him. It, it's a, in the beginning, but they're not going to harm him. Let me tell you something. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking that that sounds wrong because there was a lot of numbers going around. She was saying this. The lady was over there over talking to the manager. The manager was trying to prove her point. Now, if this is what they said, if Shamar was to have made $2,500 off of a booking, how much would she pay Shamar? She said that she would give Shamar $1,000 out of the $2,500. She should be getting, he should have been getting, girl, because what's 20%, 25, what's 25, girl, 20% of 2500 and I don't want to embarrass myself. That's what I think in my head going to be wrong. I feel like it. Watch I be right. $500. So. Why wasn't she getting $500 and him getting $2,000? Like I originally was thinking, but y'all weren't about to play with me. <laughs> That's crazy. So if you get Shamar a thousand out of that, that leaves you with one thousand five hundred. If she gets twenty percent, which is legal, that's three hundred dollars. So then that takes you down to one thousand two hundred. Now they said they had three armed security guards, which made forty-five dollars an hour. They would keep them for three hours. So forty-five times three, which is three hours, that makes it one thirty-five. And if you times that by three again, which is the three people, that's four oh five. That leaves you now with $795. With that $795, you got to find- He only needed one security guard. What are we talking about? Clothes, you got to get your hair did, whatever the case may be. Those are expenses for Shamar. So I don't see anything wrong with what the manager said. What I will say a manager should do is when you are negotiating prices with people, you need to be saying, hey, my client is going to bring you this many amount of views on this video. So my client is worth this. Don't go off of what they offer you. You need to be saying. And I kept saying, Shamar, I hope he getting his money. I hope he ain't over there getting $500. I kept saying that. And damn it, he wasn't. He was getting a thousand, which wasn't nothing, no. That was getting Shamar a little couple of shoes, a little couple of outfits. And he should be getting five thousand dollars for them and bookings. This is what my client is worth. That's what needs to go on. Woody oh. over there getting twenty thousand. Stupid. Watch this. Oh, I love me some Shamar, honey girl. Even though, let me hush. If it ain't about me, Shamar, let's keep key. Next case. Next on the docket, we got King versus Lena. Lena. Girl, you about to be lonely in a couple of my months. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Now, last week, I was saying that they were not separating. They were just separating from that family channel to their own channels. But, baby, the word on the curb. The girl is saying that this is the same thing he did when he was with me. And him and Neek, they start doing their own thing. They was dropping their own videos. And then, boom, he come out with a documentary. They break up. Woo, woo, woo. Yada, yada, yada. Child, I think they done broke up. I think it broke up. We can't only be just together. We can't only be codependent on each other. We have to be individuals and have our own. I don't think they broke up at all. I think that they are working on their independence in their relationship. It's somebody out there right now that just walked in the house and is pissed because they with they boy because they boyfriend was there.
because he ain't got no job because his ass ain't went to work and she she feel like she ain't got a break from him or vice versa you got to have your own independence in your relationship i can't be downstairs with honey sauce the entire day we would be so aggravated with each other we both leos me just sitting in her space all day long oh no no. that's why we had to get a house so we can have some space that's why i got an office so we can have some space we've already told y'all uh that we was practicing not practicing but doing you know living in our independence in our relationship as well it has to be done or y'all gonna drive each other crazy own identity and have our own hobbies and go out by ourselves and connect with our friends again you know i feel like it's a very normal thing that you know for the for the time that we've been together that it's just been us because we've created this life together and honestly i wouldn't want it any other way while i was in time understand i feel like when i first got into a relationship everything obviously is on god's timing right everything happens for a reason we did go pretty fast and an average couple and not to say that we didn't love each other or like it's not what we wanted it just happened really fast and we got really really attached to each other we started working together we're working from home we're doing everything together at this time i'm pregnant so it's like i really can't go out and do much um so we just became very like dependent on each other which there's nothing wrong you should always depend on your partner i feel like over the past three and a half years it's became like honestly we we do it so good People, a lot of people would not be able to do it for this long without there being an issue. And I thought there was an issue, but when we was in Thailand, I feel like it was fun to miss each other. It was fun to for me to go out and just do things by myself or I just, I don't know. When I had lived in Baton Rouge, this is gonna be like all over the place, but I love you guys. You guys are still gonna, you guys are still gonna watch. When I had lived in Baton Rouge, when I moved from Rhode Island to Baton Rouge by myself, I learned how to be independent. I would go grocery shopping by myself. I would go for walks by myself i would go to a restaurant by myself dog i would take my dog everywhere so i, I don't think maybe necessarily i was alone <laughs> but i did learn how to do a lot of things by myself now mind you in his day in the documentary what did he say he said when he was with me that he didn't have no type of freedom he wanted to you know explore do his own thing woo, 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 yada 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 he felt like he didn't have no type of freedom to be himself but then you go and you get this new girlfriend y'all jump into this relationship then in a couple of months you got a baby you didn't even give yourself time to heal see he what did. karma do now you back in the same situation that you thought you was getting away from because you was a cheater and selfish <laughs> Now you're doing the same thing to this woman that really loves you, but I can't. This girl, ooh, you know what? If you ask me, I think he done found somebody else. He dealing with that. Now. So, really? Absolutely not. King has been so focused on being a ninja, he definitely ain't have time for no damn focusing on no other woman. Not only that, the nigga just had three kids. No, two. Am I true? Two kids. I don't think he thinking about, no, nah, I can't say he ain't thinking about no other woman. I'm just saying, I, I just don't think that that's it. <laughs> I, I don't think that's it. He dealing and dabbling. They were around each other too much. Now, and when I say that, I think I mean <laughs> he like in the beginning. It was just, it was just, y'all, they move so fast. Now King is waking up like, damn, I'm back stuck in some shit I tried to get away from. But because you were so caught up trying no, to- No, niggas do do anything. I ain't saying he ain't cheating. I'm saying, I don't think he's trying to jump into another relationship though. You know what I'm saying? Because that's kind of how he's making it seem like he into somebody else. Things happen. I ain't saying he ain't. I don't know. I'm just saying I don't think that I don't think that that's the case. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I ain't saying it can't happen. I just don't think that's this case. That family that you lost and it ain't really what you wanted. Yeah, you. Because the family ain't hitting like the other family was hitting. You really did like me. I believe you did. But then you got comfortable and did what a lot of men do. And you sneak out 
You thought she was greener on the... No, if a woman is trying to stop you from doing anything, I want y'all to know y'all are handing y'all man to the streets. I don't want you to go outside. Why you going to the club? Why you going to the strip club? Why you la 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 la? Y'all, people are going to do what they want to do. You do not own people. If Honey Sauce come in here and say, I'm about to go outside or not, just go outside. Girl, I can't. You ain't going to. Like, I, I, I'm not entitled to her. She's not entitled to me. As adults, you do what you want. And that's what people don't get. So I feel like the nigga was running more so than anything. Nick would never let him talk. I hated that. Is he the best talker? No, but she just wouldn't let him ever just talk over him. Always kind of like he probably felt like she was treating him like a little boy. You know, her mama is all involved. See, D Bacon is totally different. He, he already came with his own money, his own, his own everything. You know what I'm saying? So it's just not the same. As long as there's a level of respect for your partner, I agree. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You gotta ask me that right now. Yes, Lana. You're welcome. So, I'm not saying, I'm not saying, okay, like with me, I have a, um, I have a curfew. Honey, so I say I can't be out past three o'clock in the morning. Okay, because she say ain't nothing open but legs. Y'all do understand that the clothes club at two. The, the, the club closed at two. This is why she would even say that. Two o'clock, the club closed. Three o'clock, you need to be making your way to the crib. Okay, most of the time, the club closed at three, but she know damn well I ain't staying to the end. So, boom, I got to be back at the crib at three o'clock. The club done ended. I done got something to eat. Why are you still outside? I respect that. So I bring my ass home. But she ain't like, oh, it's an issue every time you go somewhere. It's an issue every time you do something. Don't nobody want to hit it. So for him to be like, he felt like he couldn't do nothing in his relationship. I feel like that was at the top of the list of being a problem. That's a problem. You know what I'm saying? That'll make you run. But I also feel like they together all the time. They make their money together all the time. They with the kids all the time. They just in the house all the time and together all the time. I think it's the issue. Honey sauce has moments where she want to go outside. If she don't go outside, she don't feel right. She, now I ain't going to say depressed, but she gets sad. She don't want to just sit in here and look at four walls. Although I'm in here with four walls, I'm looking at screens. I'm, I'm doing something. You know what I'm saying? So I have to make sure we go outside. I, it's a lot to relationships that you need. But if we were sitting there in each other's face, girl, it'd really be a problem. We can't do it. We just can't do it. So I'm just telling y'all from experience, like, come on. <laughs> what are we? I'm not saying nothing that ain't happening. The other side. And you fucked up your family. And now you over here with another family. And now you stuck. What if that's why Neek and that man really don't be working out? Because Neek and King really be low-key, keep Kim behind the scenes. And that's why Lena don't really like Neek because she know. Y'all, we, we, in Atlanta, not just in Atlanta, as adults, y'all, it's not safe in this world. It's not safe. Okay? So when you outside, three o'clock in the morning, you're not in somewhere like you outside. You know what I'm saying? It's not safe. I think that's reasonable. I don't give a fuck what y'all think. It's, I'm, that's what I'm doing regardless. But yeah, bro, I'm coming in the crib for three. I ain't, ain't nothing else out there. It's nothing else to do. But if that's what you and your man do, I get it. But you know, I get why she would want me in at three too. What the really going on? So she like, what the f And that's why King don't be saying shit because he know any he really still love me. That's why he be letting her do all the talking. Because he don't want to f*** up his chances with me. I don't know. I'm just talking. That's a conspiracy. Whatever. At the end of the day, them two is done. If it ain't about me, let Kiki. Next case. Next to the dark case, we have Alexa Sky versus Anthony. Now, child, when I saw this, I gagged. Because, baby, this girl done knocked some balls on your face. Who does this? this oh, right. I didn't, now, I I didn't so um, react to that yet. His ribs are 
screws or fractures, whatever the case may be. Got them knots on his head like Mount Everest. I don't know what's going on. So, honey, he comes out and this is what he said. So here's a little story time, you guys. On Friday, I was walking into my apartment complex and I wasn't even at the door and my former best friend, Alexa Sky, walked in out of it. I'm gonna just say out of it. And she had two other people with me and she assaulted me. I tried to turn around and walk away. She punched me in my face and then the other girl came in punching me in the face and then a guy came in. They were kicking me in my rib cage. I have a fractured rib. Knocked one of my veneers out. Yeah. Knocked one of my teeth out. And it was just really, really bad. You guys, I'm scared. Like, she's been making threats against me. I can't go to my house. She's been doing a lot of personal attacks towards me and talking about me and my health and talking about me and just really doing a lot. But to physically attack me is uncalled for. You guys, I was attacked. I was hurt. And it really bothered me, you guys. I just, I can't do this. Now we like, Alexis! I know you f***ing Why would okay. you do that? So he talking about some other put her hands on the wrong one. I ain't never talked about Lele. I was talking about her parenting. Everyone knows she lacks when it comes to that. Whatever the case may be, yada, 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 woo, woo, woo. So then we just like, okay, well, what the f*** is going on? Why would she want to do that to a friend of hers just because she he talked about her parenting? Well, girl, Lexus came out and she said, okay, no, baby, first of all, you put your hands on me a week prior to this, so that's why we came out there and beat your ass. And then you want to sit here and you want to um, go against your NDA, so now she wants to take him to court. So I guess being friends with him, you know, he's learned things, he saw things, whatever the case may be, why he's saying she's sleeping with men and women, unprotected, this and that, whoop, 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 and then he done said all this about the baby and... I'm just like, what's going on? So in my mind, I'm like, well, if you know she's a bad parent, all this stuff is going on and she ain't this good person. Well, you was happily making these videos with her, whatever the case may be, but you say she a bad parent, but if she a bad parent, then why is she still with this woman? What does that say about you? You know what I'm saying? You want to say all these things, then it should have got your ass beat, but before your ass got beat, whatever the case may be, you was good with the parents and what was going on with the parents. Yeah. See, this is why I don't got friends. I don't I'm do none these social media celebrity friends because baby, once y'all fire out, it's this and that. I'm trying to tell you. But I just, <laughs> but I just gang it up. Baby, Alexis. I'm good. <laughs> what happened to going to God? You're supposed to let God fight your... <laughs> you're supposed to let God fight your battles. Not you out here fighting them. Then you went from that <laughs> to Zeus. <laughs> From Zeus and then STV to a Trump, <laughs> Trump supporter to not a Trump supporter to beating your friend. Girl, what is, what is going on? And Anthony, instead of coming to this internet crying, you ain't got no cousins, no sisters. Child, please. I would have called my whole family. We ride at dawn. <laughs> Y'all beat the niggas, you fuck less. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Then we can go to court. All that. All right, I ain't got time for it. I know what she say, too. Oh, uh, not, not. <laughs> Wait. Get it? Not, not. <laughs> Open up. Pussy. <laughs> He's so stupid. Pussy. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> but I need to know what he said about the baby, because whatever he said, they sure did punch it out of him, because... Ain't nothing left. <laughs> Word on the curve is people from Housewives and everything was trying to, you know, warn her not to deal with him, but she did anyway. So I don't know. Don't get me to run in my mouth because I don't know none of these folks in their private businesses. The girl, the girls do start talking when things go down. Okay. All right. So there's a reason why the men hit that man like that. I don't think, I don't know. Let me hush. If it ain't about me, that show is a big K-N-O-T. Next mm -hmm. <laughs> Next to the docket, we have Safari versus Eremina. Now, this has been going on for too long. But now that Safari is a YouTuber, baby, he is spilling the tea. Now, he put he up is. some video footage oh, of damn, what story happened time. between him and Erica. Her coming to the house. <laughs> it's a whole lot, a whole lot of... Safari, talk to me. Talk to me. All 
I don't even I don't even know where to start. Oh. Um but I'm I'm putting everything out there because <laughs> the fact that people even whether you know me or not, you still there still has to be like a certain level of, of common sense when it comes to just being a judge of character. They're one of the whole family dynamic and it's not there anymore. But I love my kids. And it's gotten to the point that- I'm with the fast forward, cause girl, we done already been there, done that. Recently, Erica had called him out for being absent in their kids' lives. Now, as you can see, she said, mom is in yellow and dad is in orange. And she goes on to say, imagine trying to get child support from your baby mama when 16 days is all they get from you. You think you Safari's future Chris sales? On the trolling side of things or on the content side of things? With or without Erica is what I want to know. I think that he put that out there because Erica keep trying to paint a bad picture about Safari. I think he has every right to come out and say something. Like, here we are thinking, oh my God, Safari is such a terrible guy. When she over there beating on him and, and got the children walking through glass and sh At some point, the man needs to say something. You know what I'm saying? Especially if he's getting treated like that. You skip out on their birthdays and Christmas, but yet you got like you this big money man for the group. We wouldn't even, well, granted, we all know Erica Lathol now, but we ain't knowing she got the children walking through glass and shit. You know what I'm saying? So she didn't stop there because she saw the footage that he put out with her coming to the house, I guess, acting belligerent. She goes on and she says, look, baby, all the home footage I got just in May alone of you trying to get back with your family will shut all this down. And I'm just like, well, wait a minute, Erica. You went to his house on some crazy type shit. That's not the same as him coming back to you I trying agree, to so. get his family back I and agree. crying. That's just like, okay, boy, leave me alone. <clears throat> you went to go some shit. Up. And on top of that, why are y'all fighting in front of the children anyway? Both of y'all need help because that is up. And Erica, we can't sit here and act you not problematic and abusive because we remember what you did to sin, girl. And then not even that, you was making them private pages to attack that book and spice. How you did spice? Erica, you got a problem. So it's not Erica just that definitely you has a problem. bring yourself to the internet over and over and over. And this man ain't said a word. How long is this man supposed to be quiet before he say something? Now when he say something, oh, now you want to play victim. Y'all both out here gaslighting each other. And that's the tea. Um, I went and I was going to get a restraining order because, you know, she's doing stuff like showing up in my crib five o'clock in the morning, pulling out a ladder, hopping the fence. Oh my God, what is pulling out a ladder? That, oh my God, what is that? Pulling out a ladder, hopping my fence. I, I don't know who the f ride around with a ladder in their car. Her. But Erica, <laughs> Erica told you, I don't want no to make me acting like that. I uh. heard them Jamaican dicks to have you hopping them. <laughs> so far, I done seen that thing too. That the heavy and I don't think Safari is a bad person. I just think he don't want to deal with Erica's antics and the shit she do. I do believe he wants to hang with his children, but Erica is the problem. And then on top of that, he is a problem too. They need to figure out how to put their shit to the side and focus on them children. Pay $2,000, put them in summer camp. They went to summer camp for three days because she had such an issue with me putting them in summer camp by my house. And it was like, why didn't I talk to her, blah, blah, blah. And it's like. And that's entitlement. And <clears throat> she's entitled on how he deal with the kids when he got them. That's crazy. Okay. I have the kids. They're under my watch and care. I want to put them in a summer camp by me. And I'm going to show y'all because it's like. Not just talking, just to talk, but put them in summer camp. This was the first month. This is what it was supposed to do. This is what it's supposed to be. This is the schedule. Summer camp July, boom, boom, boom. The entire month. This was going to be their schedule for the entire month. This is their lunch schedule. This is one of the things she made for me in one of the days that she was in summer camp. So I'm like, 
okay, what's wrong with putting the kids in summer camp? And it just was such a control thing, and it created like, like it created so much drama. Oh, drop the kids off. Oh, you put them in summer camp. Oh, uh, just nothing made absolute any sense. Like, ain't no way you care about them that much, and you got them walking through glass. That's all I'm saying. Glass, rocks, just everything. How you just slide a whole bunch of shit off the table and tell them to walk through it with no shoes on? Girl, you wasn't even thinking. So I know you don't care about their whereabouts at this is this damn um nothing. Uh, like camp. it was just such an irate, ignorant conversation because it's to the point where we don't even speak direct. Like my house is set up for them. This I got their shrine set up. This is for them. This is their area. They, 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 they you walk in. This is Maji's room. Ain't no, ain't no London. deadbeat doing this. Deadbeats ain't doing this. My, daughter, my, my daughter's room is bigger than, than some phone. adults' rooms. And it's just so insane to me how people just, oh, yeah, you're a deadbeat. Yo, I know about real deadbeats. And this situation is all about control. Now see, that's a red flag. How are you going to try to complain about the daddy and when he get the kids and how much he get the kids, but you want to regulate the time. It's like Erica wants to be in control. Even if he do send the kids to camp or whatever the case may be, how you handle your kids when they're with you is how you handle your kids. How he handle the kids when they're with him is how he handle the kids. You cannot tell him what he can and can't do with them children. As long as those children are not getting hurt, they're not getting mistreated, you cannot say what this man can do with the children. My bad, I gotta order Ray a Stanley Cup because they done stole my child's Stanley Cup at school. <laughs> Y'all know what the kids gonna tell Ray. Your mama buy you another one. <laughs> Damn children. Oh, we just out here buying Stanley Cups, huh? She got it. Ball out. Yeah. Erica just wants control. And you can't have control okay. over everything. Stealing somebody else's cup, straw, and everything. That's crazy. Girl, <laughs> let me tell y'all how Ray said it. Y'all. Well, she said, guys. <laughs> what, Ray? She said, we lost a member of the family. <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean? Y'all, it was the Stanley Cup. <laughs> I'm over here looking around. <laughs> Where's Mango? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the Stanley Cup. <laughs> oh, my God. But anyway, I just thought the Josh would know. Oh, my God, you did it. You're such a handy lady. <laughs> God, that's so small. They're liars. Okay, thank you. Okay, let me finish this video. I was telling him how you said we lost a member of the family, which was the Stanley Cup. Yes, I did. Everybody walking around with Stanley's. Everybody got their own Stanley. But uh, someone want to steal mine. It's someone that don't got one that took mine. They did you dirty. And the thing that I school, no Stanley. Essential. 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 It told him that this was going to come up there and ask about a hoodie. Say, Nick, that was his. But the proof they got it. But the thing is, you have, we're up there already scared that he was going to lie to them. Mm. So then he got finished for six days. He just came back today. Oh, my God. He already got about three times six years. Crazy. Well, I, I, I'm going to get y'all a Stanley. Keep yours at home. 
Both, well, both of you. I'm going to get the uh, knockoff cup, too. Bye. Oh, that's the knockoff cup. Yeah. She want a knockoff cup to go to school. The one I got from the, um, from Pantone, Uh-huh. Where's that cup at, London? Oh, that one we have to throw it away because... Oh my God! I'm getting y'all a cup from Five and Below. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Especially when y'all are not together. So after all of this, Eric comes and she posts. She just wants to make it about the children, whatever the case may be. I just feel Erica is hurting. He hurt that girl. I'm not saying Safari is all the way perfect because we don't seen him throwing glasses and doing all this shit in front of the children. You know what I'm saying? So. I think she's hurting, and she's just Can upset. I get the name so on she it? wants to make him feel the same Let's way she idea. feels. When really they need to just let all that shit go, leave each other alone, and let it be about the children at the end. Where can I get their name on it? End of the day, she got to stop sleeping with that man. She got to leave. Let him go, girl, because you sprung. And it is what it is. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this. Okay. Next on the docket, we got Corey versus Dave. Now, honey, Engraved I'm it? just going to say this, and I'm going to say this with my... Okay. Everybody lying. Everybody lying, and everybody scamming, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, because when you look at it, all y'all know what each other doing, and now all y'all trying to expose each other when... Y'all know these damn kids impatient, girl. They want the cup now. I'm getting it from D. We'll figure it out. Really, all y'all doing the same shit, but in different areas. So, how it all started when everybody saw what was going wrong was when they both unfollowed each other. And then when they unfollowed each other and Danny was taking the pictures off, everybody was like, what is going on? Why did they do that? So, Danny had then started making these posts. I ain't gonna read all this shit, cause baby, I'm not gonna do it. This too much. It's just a whole bunch of calling each other out and gaslighting shit. She over here talking shit about Corey. Corey come over here and he started talking about God. And I don't know why he always bring God into situations when he get his stuff into some You talking about? It ain't the one. Oh, oh, oh. Because he ain't a part of confusion. No, he's not. So Corey talking about Jesus. She talking about you ain't, I ain't going lie for lie, blow for blow, whatever the case may be. All I can say is we told you, but no, all y'all want to think, oh, I'm the new one, I'm the better one, I can do this. Oh, my man, my man, my man, my man. Oh, yeah, bitch, he sure is your man. He's your man. Now take up for your man. The man that you knew was doing all this stuff that you say he was doing, and he knew you was doing all the stuff he said you was doing, so why y'all want to out the stuff that y'all was doing? <laughs> so, child, she gets all his stuff. She packs it up in the car, tell the man to get out the house. Everybody wonder why is she packing the stuff up? What happened? Why is she putting them out? Come to find out, you guys, it was because of the raffles. So, mind you, y'all know Corey do the raffles or whatever the case may be. woo woo yeah, yeah, yeah. So she has a last check. Her last check boyfriend is Kevin, the man that won the rap. So she, he go outside and tell the girl, Danny, oh, I got to play. Danny don't know what the play is, whatever the case may be, whatever. So then he comes back in the house. This is, I guess, when the time the raffle was going on. He come back in the house. Whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. Child, people was trying to tell y'all. Okay, thank nobody you, Nobody ever want to listen because y'all black folks be so greedy. You be greedy for money, greedy for cars. How the hell y'all think y'all finna win something off of seven dollars? That's <laughs> all I'm saying, Zo. Like, who be sitting around talking about I'm about to put a thousand dollars on them raffles today. But what? Go, but just go put five thousand, a thousand dollars on a um. Girl, I got a message on a damn on a new car or on a car. That's why y'all be getting scammed. I thought I I, I I didn't say nothing because I I like me some Corey, so it ain't my place to say anything. But now that all the shit out in the open, I was just like, how are these? I know. Do y'all never go back to the winner that he posts and look at the person's Instagram? Where do the cars be at? Where they be at when they be joining SSG? What about the one boy that he did the videos with? Where he at? What he doing? What's going on? Corey don't ever promote that boy. But y'all want to, you know the what? Shut it up. So we're going to get back to the rapper thing. So after she put his stuff in the car, whatever the case may be, woo woo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Child, they go on the internet and start throwing their around, talking about each other. I don't put your hands on women. You ain't never touched me because you already knew what the fuck it was going to be. 
You ain't never put your hands on me. I can't say that. But known for putting your hands on, on women, so you damn right. I clutch my mother. Because, bitch, if you ever think you're going to lay any finger on me, your ass going to get blown out. I'm going to be the last woman you touch. And I promise you that. My last tech, my last tech and her boyfriend came here to do my lashes. Um, So when she came here, of course, the dude that came with her, her baby daddy, they were sitting out here just talking. So all of a sudden, he comes back and when, when the girl got done doing my lashes, he come back in the house and was like, oh, I got a, I got a play that I think I'm finna make. But he never told me about the play. You get what I'm saying? So all of a sudden, when he announced the winner at the car show, he said, Kevin Johnson, Kevin Johnson, whoever, Kevin Johnson. I'm like, that ain't sound for me. That sound like my last tech dude. So I hit my last tech up. I'm like, so did your dude win the car? She was like, girl, you know, when they was out there talking when I did show lashes, they was out there, you know, putting that together like he was going to win the car. So you done took all these folks' money and ain't nobody won the car. And with your software, you can put in whoever name that you want to show up to be the winner. So what he normally do, he will get other people's cars to raffle them off. Like, this, his car. He'll raffle them off. And after the raffle, I'm assuming, he'll, like, put in a fake name, say they won, and then get on people their car back, and then they split the money, whatever the money was. So I, I guess the dude that, that owned the Hellcat, the dude had won it, like, 50000 I guess Corey had promised him 50000 and was like, okay, I'm going to raffle the Hellcat <laughs> off. And then whatever I profit, I'm going to give you 50000 And the raffle didn't even do that good. I, I'll say he made about a good, probably 30000 off the raffle or whatever. So he didn't have 50000 to get a dude anyway. So how the fuck did he give, a, give away a damn Hellcat? First of all, it's not yours. Sure. Second of all, you didn't have the money to get a dude. Because the raffle didn't even do that good. Then on top of that, I'm trying to help you strategize. I'm like, well, just let the dude know that the ref didn't do good and just give him half of the money. I will say if, uh, from what it sounds like she's saying right now, I definitely would have asked her more questions about that raffle because y'all gotta, girl, I be looking at a hundred things a day. And by the time I talked to Danny, I was wind dead, but I still asked way more than a lot of people. So we still got a lot, you know what I'm saying, of information. But... She she sounded like she knew a little more about the raffles than not knowing about the raffles. It's almost like, you know how when you mad at somebody and you know what I'm saying, you get to tell them the truth about what, what what's actually going on. And I feel like that's what happened. But I don't feel like it's because she didn't get no money from it. I really don't. I don't think it had anything to do with her not getting money from it. I just think she felt some type of way about him not telling her about him working with her friend more so than getting any money. But from listening to this, I would have definitely said that to her, but child, that day has gone and went. It was two hours. And then, you know, you got like, what you got. Like, he ain't gonna get a, he ain't gonna get a title over. No, it ain't even the case. The case was y'all never was gonna get, get a car away. But then they get back together. We like, well, what the f is going on? I'm don't start with me on lies. I'm just saying. I just thought about that shit crazy. You so childish, bro. Because I packed your stuff? Because you want to stay at the condo last night? Then when I get to the condo, you want to come outside? That's definitely before that, though. So I threaten you? <laughs> They're right. So I was like, okay, so since you won't come outside, I'm going to pack all your clothes up. <laughs> <laughs> Why you keep saying Clothes packed up, and I see I sent you that picture. What'd you say? I'm throwing lavender. Cause first of all, you made me drive all the way to the condo. We already live an hour away from the condo. I drove all the way to the condo to get my monkey. out. see that's that's how his clothes end up getting getting packed up. I was coming to get clothes. I'm like, bring me the monkey. So he was like, nah, I'll come get the monkey. So I get to the condo. He coming so he. No, they not together. Where like, you been, I'm friend? Some for him. Trying to fight. He thought I was going to try to fight him. So, I was mad. You know what? I went on the pool though, or whatever. You had all that. You, you, know, I, what, you, know, you know how much time you had to have? <laughs> Let me tell you something. When I got next to the house, when I left the condo, get over there and stop. Get on the white line. When I left the condo, listen. That shit was so funny. By the time I made back to the house, it was like 4.38. I was so hot. When I said, <laughs> listen, I never in my life drove that G-Wagon.
fast. Do you hear me? I was sleeping. I went in that damn home, house. I was the whole way there, I'm like, damn, I hope I got some black garbage bags. Man, I was all on top of the shelf throwing shit down, like putting it in a bag. I believe you. I took. Yeah. Meanwhile, I was sleeping peaceful, good as hell, man. And, and then, y'all, I saw, he said him and Chloe was sleeping peaceful. Then I told him if he, he didn't have my monkey back to me by what 12 noon, that I was gonna um, start a campfire. So, honey, this is why they fell out again. So, this, just keep up. It's a lie. I don't even know if I'm telling it in order, but all I know is it started from the unfollow. She talked to he brought up God. The friend that uh, won the raffle, which was her last Texas boyfriend, came over there, uh, helped him get the clothes, but then they got, brought the clothes back out because, you know, I guess they went on a deal to talk about shit. The mother was at home crying. What's going on, girl? <laughs> why you been sad? You been sad because your daddy gone? Ow! Why you just hit me? You know what? He coming back, Clover. He coming back. He only been gone like four hours. Come on now. He's coming back. I promise you. Yeah, she you said that's her condo. You. you don't mean changing your camper. Precious, <laughs> it is her condo. You must not have been on the live last night. So I was like, at one point, Danny had told me it was Corey's condo. Like, uh, Royce, he got a condo. Uh, wherever it's at. He got a condo somewhere people don't know about. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I was thinking like, how the hell he get a condo? You know, because it's credit situation. But that's when I had told y'all, like, Sh my credit ain't good either. I got this place. But clearly because um, I, I had to drop a bag. <laughs> a big bag, too. I ain't talking about no little bag at all. Okay? So, when your credit messed up, that's the sh you got to do. So, it is what it is. So, I'm thinking, all right, well, maybe he dropped a big bag is the reason why I'm saying that. And um, come to find out he ain't dropped no bag. That's her house. Her other place. I can't even say allegedly. That's what she said. She's being sad. But what brought them back to falling out again was she had introduced Corey to her homegirl, Brittany. Mind you. Not Corey gonna have another victim by Thanksgiving. I don't know if y'all watched voice video today, but apparently Corey is at the friend house. <laughs> Corey is at Brittany's house. <laughs> allegedly. That's what it's on voice video. He's at Britney house. This nigga is a prime example of cot to cot. And if he act correctly at his sister's house, you know, the house that he re, um, revamped, whatever he did to it, or take his ass back to Alabama and, um, build a house on his daddy's land. That's his daddy's land. <laughs> build a house over there on daddy's land. He really like, Went out here and balled out. Like, I got paid yesterday, and I didn't want to spend a dime. <laughs> the way Corey make me feel right now, I need to not be spending money out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, just be blowing money. And shit. Is it just me? I got you out here like, you know what? I'm a, um, I got an extra little, uh, this is my free check. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Let me uh, slide that to the side. Cause, mm, 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 mm. You hard Britney had fell out, whatever the case may be. Here I was like, well, who is Britney? Who is Britney? This dad is Britney. So Britney couldn't pay for her house. Danny gave her money to pay for whatever the case may be. But she ended up losing the mansion anyway. Then she had these three <laughs> cars. Friend, you better say that. <laughs> and still not going to do nothing for them kids, but want to take custody where they going to stay. One of the things I agree with uh Danny on was is why the hell would you call CPS on Carmen? First of all, you don't even know, you know what I'm saying, what's going on over there in general. And, I, and granted, I understand you want them, but her manager is trying to find a way y'all can meet, but you ain't trying to do that. You want full custody and don't have nowhere for him to stay. Corey! <laughs> that's <laughs> that's just not gonna happen. Corey, the first thing I guarantee they're going to do in custody court is where's your address? <laughs> Wait, where's your address, Corey? Where's your address? Well, where do you reside? How many rooms is in there? Is it a functioning kitchen? Is it a functioning bathroom? You got foods down? Is the uh, food in the refrigerator? You're 
Glory! Where the children gonna go? Girl, and I don't understand the whole fight for the, these two, but not the fight for the other one. I don't understand that. He's not with you full time. So why the hell you think you gonna be able to get two full time? Girl, if you don't let Carmen handle her business for Carmen's mama, it's a village thing. A lot of y'all are against Danny not having her kids either. I'm not. When women need time to handle their business to get their money, it's not as easy as men. Men have your ass for you to take care of the children. If she ain't got the nigga or, or if he ain't taking care of them, however that go with them, I don't know. Her mama can. Because she need to be able to provide for these kids and her mama. So I am not against that. And a lot of us as mothers, yes, us as mothers, I didn't have them, but baby, I, they well taken care of. Oh, you understand me? Uh, when we need a break, oh, we need a break. Okay? Thank God they teenagers. But I'm just saying, when Honey Sauce came along, it's a lot I had to learn. <laughs> but, baby, that's at the top of the list. You better use that village. Hell is you talking about? So I don't blame her for that either. That's why I don't never talk about it. Y'all be asking me where the kids, where the kids. They with her mama. They with her mama. Now, I was trying to figure out why the hell you got a monkey and ain't got the kids. But she said she giving the monkey to the kids. Her, the, her daughter wants the monkey. So the monkey leaving too. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm, I'm not against that at all. She couldn't paint the notes on, so what happened? She um had introduced Corey to Britney, so Corey could hide the cars. What? Who the green car? The green car is, uh, was my home, girl. The car was finna go back anyway. So she's trying to avoid the car from go going back. So I don't know if he gave her some money. I don't know what deal they didn't came up with. I don't know if he gave her some money to hold the car down. Whatever the case, I don't know what the f going on with the cars. But, yo. No. Right? You said that's messed up. Danny, mama, excuse me, can't live her life because Danny want to run around with a man. Friend, what? First of all, Danny said that her mama is the one who want the kids. That's number one. Most of the time, the grandmothers do want the kids. And you have an issue with the grandmama and the mama because the mama want to take care of her own. Okay? No, 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 no. You can have them. That's what you want to do? You want them? You can have them. Ain't no way her mom about to be over there held hostage with the kids. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, she got a gun to her head. No, you got to take care of them. No. She said, she said, I forgot what she said last night. I think it's to the nature of her grandmama took care of her. So her mama's taking care of her kids. That's what they got going on. That's what they got going on. Okay. But I don't think the mother is having an issue in that area. Because clearly they wouldn't be over there. So... Keep in mind, one of my homegirls, right? One of my homegirls, same homegirl that I just went last week. Keep yeah, mind, her mama won't move down there. She said that four times last night. Her mama won't move where she at because she said she was going to get at a house across the, the lake from her. And her mama said, no, y'all know our mothers, especially mine, my mama don't want to move either. You know what I'm saying? My, I, I told my mama before I got, you know, before I started making money, like I'm gonna buy you a um a house, but of course I would want it. I wanted it to be near me. She was like, no. But also, my daddy want to buy a house. She don't want it either. <laughs> so sometimes you just get comfortable. You don't want to move. She don't want to move. So I think Mama's just fine, and I think uh, Danny is either. I mean, Danny is too. Her Mama was there when we was on live last night. They came to pick up the monkey. Come, girl. And, and this ain't me trying to tell him about a business until I just seen how I'm moving. You get what I'm saying? So I put him on a plate like the girl. She was finna lose her cars, basically. She was finna lose. Hold on. Sure, imagine you a kid and your mother rather be on live than with you. All kids not the same. I If I could have stayed with my grandma, I would have stayed with my grandma. I couldn't, though, because my parents decided that I was going to be in their custody full time. But at grandma house, you can do whatever you want to do. The best place to be is grandma house. What do you mean? <laughs> but everybody's different, friend. Everybody's different. I get it. You feel how you feel. Everybody different. Lose her. She had already lost If I could have lived with my grandma, you... rest in peace to my grandma. If I could have lived with my grandma, baby, that's where the hell I would have went. Just like King. King was bringing up. Him not really being with his daddy, which he was wrong because he wanted to be at his grandma's house. 
So his daddy let his ass stay over there. This me telling you this because you find out ain't really your friend. So the whole to lose her right, lose the cutting. And Granny lose. going to sleep. I'm outside. Granny, uh, whatever. I'm doing what I want to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ain't nothing like grandma's house. Ain't nothing like a grandma love either. You know what I'm saying? So, but I understand that's your opinion, friend. We just going back and forth. Just my opinion to live with my grandmother since I was 13. Friend, shut up then. <laughs> You probably, you probably just wanted to be with your what, your parents. No disrespect, because I really don't know your situation. So please don't come back and say anything about your mama. I don't know. I don't know. So take that with grace. What I'm saying is, you know, um, you might have wanted that from your parents. I don't know. But let's finish this video. It's been an Who's hour and 20 minutes. Shit, right? So they agreed to do like a, to do something like he wrapped the cars and act like it's his, but... Luxury Lease Partners looking for these right now. You get what I'm saying? So he done wrapped the car, acting like it's his, this and that, all type of shit like that. So now you want to expose Corey <laughs> for hiding the cars or whatever the case may be and driving around in the cars that ain't paid for. But when he got the car, you was like, oh, my man, my man, he got his car. You posted all this and you knew the cars was hiding and, 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 and can't be paid for. But now it's all this, all that, all that. You just as wrong. You just is wrong and you trying to expose him. You just is wrong, girl. So slow down though. So mind you, so now Corey was talking to Brittany, whatever the case may be, on the phone. And then all of a sudden, Danny ends up hearing Brittany saying, Don't tell Danny. Don't tell Danny what? So now Danny upset. This he he done got her on the phone, y'all. He done got her on oh, the phone. Lord. He he got her on speakerphone. I heard the say in the business about the cars. We gonna keep that between us. How the fuck would you feel if I go tell your husband that I want to do business with him and keep it between me and him? And this, and this, I hear he he going for the shit, all because he need a ride. Make it make sense. Come on now. Ever since after that car show, we been at each other's neck like back and forth, back and forth. And when it came down to all these these damn cars, and then for this person to be my friend god tries to help you out when you first told me you was gonna lose your house before you even moved out your house girl offered to give you your mortgage money literally i offered to give you your mortgage money to pay your mortgage to keep you in your house i really tried to keep you in your house and you on the phone with a nigga that's supposed to be my nigga telling my nigga oh the, the business with the cars we gonna keep that between, we gonna keep that between us, which means that don't tell Danny the business that we're doing with the car. Girl, I don't give a f about no cars that's gonna go back. The people looking for the cars now. I don't care. I try to help you as a friend. So how the f you cross me out for a nigga that you barely even know? How the f would you feel if I call your husband and tell your husband, oh, um, I want to do business with you, but we gonna keep Brittany out. Come on, make that shit make sense. You done? Oh, of course. Okay, cool. Baby, baby that crying. Okay, don't don't worry about who. I done took your plenty of monkeys. Uh, this is my second one. <laughs> like you call somebody up here with a trailer, like you got some cars over here, like. What I believe is Corey fucking around with Brittany on the side, and Danny's trying to see what the fuck going on, and Danny's like, oh, you wanna play in my face? All right, Something. I'm a play in yours. Something. Because they were supposed to be business partners only. Mind you, that's the same thing he called Manny. That uh, Danny was business. Thank you, friend. Partners only. So how you get them is how you lose them. Child, Miss Mama goes, and she, of course, social security number, his chase, his um, business, EIN numbers, and all this stuff. I don't know if she knows that that is actually a felony. You can get in trouble for that. So if I was Corey, I'd be going to the police and being like, look, she didn't expose my shit. But she said she... So that's crazy that he just said that because, girl, Danny is still going. <laughs> She said that she was going to go for 24 hours. Danny, it's been almost 72, friend. We, we still going. All right. I'm going to say. I'm going to say. Okay. Let me tell you something need to be on the shirt, ain't it, honey? So, um, if he press any charges on me, he know I got something on him that'll send him straight to the feds. And I'm not the type to run to the police. Besides that, I'll run... 
I'll round up all of those people that he scammed from the car raffle and have them to show proof that they paid for those tickets. And then I'll handle the rest because I have full recording of him setting up the whole play. I went back and watched the cameras at the back of my house while they were negotiating. I'm not the one to play police games with. See, I got the proof. Y'all can call me a scammer all day, but the same way I showed you the picture of Brittany signing the client's tax refund, show me proof of me actually scamming. So therefore I'll just move smooth. If I was you SSG, because I'll have charges on you in all 50 States, please leave me alone and stop teaming up with people spreading lies about me. Last warning. Girl. Mm. Mm-mm. Well, let's close out this video, Jesus girl. Folks, Damn, man. this shit almost two hours. Okay, folks, so no, <laughs> no, baby. It's about that Britney sh That's really what it was. But then also she said the reason she put his sh out on the internet was because Corey called the police to her house trying to expose her for stealing, I guess, the G-Wagon, whatever the case may be. And honey, she had to go and pay them the money. But what if he would have called them? You still would have paid the money for the G-Wagon. The only reason I'm guessing, if I'm following it right, that you paid the money was because that he sent them to the house. So now you sit here tagging luxury models and whatever the case may be, saying that you know where the car is at. If anybody see it, this is where they are. And I don't know what we're going to get out of Girl, you know what? Oh, y'all stimming. That girl, Sherelle, is right. Because everybody's like, who is Sherelle? Sherelle is the girl that's been going at it with Danny about the tax and stuff. Phone call with him. And he probably don't even want me to tell y'all, but I don't even give a damn. I just got off a phone call with him, and he gave me firsthand experience on what the f*** Danny got going on. I'm talking about everything from voodoo to this bitch lying about how much money voodoo. she got to this bitch lying about the lifestyle that she portraying on the mother internet but like i said is this is making me believe sherelle because if you knew corey was doing all this you knew your friend was doing all this with these cars and all this was going on then girl birds of a feather flock together and all y'all in his game because i think you got with corey on a business move anyway i don't even think you really like corey i think you thought corey had money corey didn't have what you think he had so you was just dealing with corey so you're like okay well since corey like, had money, he very just use corey for the publicity and he can help me lunch my peach cobbler that's why corey was doing so much promoting and doing this because that was bringing in money and revenue and then girl i guess she saw didn't want to know but she said corey only live off of five hundred thousand dollars a month she was just like you know what i'm cheap too you cheap i can't do shit with it but then you want to try to sit sneak around and do some business with my friend Brittany. well baby get the fuck out of my shit. that's what the fuck really going on child i know Corman is sitting over there like i tried to tell y'all okay and see god ain't gonna never bless you you did uh you committed adultery on your wife you ain't gonna never be blessed baby you committed adultery i ain't saying Corman ain't right but the fact that she sat there and stuck beside you and never tried to shame your name and she was a wife that took her man back every time but when every she time says oh i'm gonna do this you want to let her go Baby, you gonna have to read what you sold, Corey. You got you you are. I'm trying to tell you. And like when y'all be saying on the it ain't gonna go no other way. And she was his his karma. Oh, he missed this person and he missed that person. Let me tell you something. He don't miss that person. He missed the money and the fame that came with that person. He don't miss that person now. So if he can still have the fame that he had and the money that he had when he was with that person, he'll take that fame and that money. That's what I'm telling y'all. So when y'all be like, oh, he doing it because he missed her. No, he missed the fame and he missed the money. Oh, he missed shit. all the money that he had, all the fame that he had when he was with this person. So if it takes him to do what he got to do to get that shit back, he going to do whatever the he got to do. That's what I'm letting y'all know. So you got to know the difference between missing somebody. He missed her. He ain't getting no back. the fame and missing the money. It's a wrap on that. I told you to stay over here, but you didn't want to stay with me. <laughs> I told you, I said, Corey, focus on you. But you didn't want to listen to me. You didn't want to listen to me. Mad if you over, but you didn't want to listen to me. Dad if you over, but you didn't want to listen to me. Now, Brittany and Corey both in Alabama, right? Uh-huh. <coughs> and Brittany is going through a divorce right now. So Brittany, I guess she was talking about putting her husband in a newspaper and then they was going to like, uh, honor her divorce in 30 days. <gasps> so she was telling Corey how to get the divorce from Corey, right? Oh. And I, I had gave him the number about the car. Mm. So all of a sudden, we in the car, um, 
I know, friend. Okay, we missed. Like the line, like the line. 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 And she told me how to get um, full custody of my kids. Like, full custody. Somebody is so mad. Somebody was so mad at me. Like, why would you put out this type of content? Uh, uh, they was mad because the old girl was talking. Girl, she was getting us the tea. Shut up. I don't care how it came out. I don't care. Let me tell y'all something about this. I don't care if this tea is brewed. This bag season, I don't care if this tea is boiled. This bag season, I don't care if the tea is hot or cold. That tea going out. You understand me? <laughs> it's going out. You understand what I'm talking about? Hell wrong with y'all. Why you won't get food? He was like, man, because she let her Somebody clip that. Clip what I just said. Whoever know how to do a clip, you should just be able to hit clip. The fuck? Huh? She was like, she had told me to call. I need that. Clip that right quick. Like the loud. I know, friend. Like the loud. Like the loud. Like like, girl, girl, so big. The girl, I took a time out for five minutes. Five minutes. Walking down over there on Facebook. Girl, y'all got Boogie going off. Danny, damn dog. I like her. She said her hair was messed up. She ain't like, Girl, did you see that man somebody? Girl, why I want to text her and ask her, girl? <laughs> y'all, y'all, wait. I took a screenshot. Girl, what's going on? Y'all, for real. Damn, Danny. Damn, girl. <laughs> Danny, girl, get back up here, girl. Wait. Girl, <laughs> Danny, how she get deep? Danny, is this why she said, oh, remember you said that Corey hate when you went to Atlanta, girl. This is what you was talking about, girl. Girl, this is what you was talking about when you said he don't like when you go to Atlanta. Girl, wait a minute. <laughs> Danny, Corey, did you screenshot that out there, girl? Oh, how you get that? <laughs> Danny, y'all. <laughs> Danny, girl, when a girl on the car heard me like, girl, did you see that? <laughs> For real, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to be messy, girl, but girl, you was, girl, that's why he don't like when you go to Atlanta. That's what. Oh, what the girl, the book. Oh my God, girl, my brother, like y'all got him out here stressed. Y'all leave him alone, please. He ain't got nothing to do with this. Y'all come on now. We ain't got to keep bringing up. Like, Corey, look at the mess you done. Hey, we told y'all Applejack head ass. Y'all <laughs> start done it. Look at all the shit you done caused. And I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> but for real, stop that. Girl. I'm talking about y'all got to know. Wrong? Niggas is here for all of this. Drama! Y'all, I got to ask y'all a question. Why in the hell would y'all ever think that the people talking about it care more than the people who putting it out there? Y'all putting it out there. Baby, I'm going to talk about it. Period. That's it. Hello, everybody. Get y'all roll on because, girl, it's a lot going on, girl. Bitch, I'm going to turn it up. Like I said, I bought Carmen in that truck because I fucked with y'all that she cool in the head Boogie, get rid of that iPhone uh, 7, please. Why do you sound like you are uh, getting ready for AOL? Okay? Y'all remember when we used to get ready for the computer? Uh, hold on, we just got to let the computer warm up right quick. Y'all remember that? The computer used to have to warm up like a car. Girl, why does his phone sound like that? I'm sick of it. Dial up. Yeah. Hold on, we just got to, hold on. It's on seven. It's on seven. You used to have to dial up right quick. If you're young, you don't know nothing about that. But all I'm saying is, get off that dial up. I want to see her turned up. She already, she already there. She had turned up there, twin. Turn up. Y'all deal with niggas that scared to look at a bank. Them niggas ready to go to jail and go dig, go dig, dig. They walk in the bank. I know how the bank smell.
Yeah. When your birthday? I'm November 4th. I'm lit, bro. You ain't lit like this. Here he a Scorpio? Yeah, he's Scorpio. Nah, ain't no contract relationship. Stay out of my business. Focus on y'all love like now. Play with y'all ass. Play with y'all ass. Don't play with bull. Leave me alone. Leave me out of it. Don't try to get in my love like y'all was talking about 20 more. Okay. I asked her. Yes, I asked her for that more 20 K. Damn right. You got 20 thousand? Say no more. <laughs> you got 20 thousand? Say no more. Let me get that. Let me hold that down, fool. I'll pay you back. You hear me? You talking about? Because if she would have asked for something, I would have. You hear me? If it was the love, if, if it was genuine love, off top, you get on the phone with a you will see it, the little genius. I really had your best interest at heart, friend. And now look. Now you screaming, God, God, God. And God looking at you like, oh, baby, I ain't got nothing to do with this. It's going to all go down. So she's saying Corey's doing the seven, 72 hour thing where he don't speak for 72 hours because if you don't talk, then nobody ain't going to think about it. It'll end up going away. Woo, woo, woo. Whatever the case may be. Child, I don't know. She said, well, baby, I'm on your head for the, for the 24. So, I don't know, child, if it ain't about me. But let's get in this game. All right, that's all I have for Missy Monday. Um, make sure y'all always tune in. I love y'all so much, honey. This is all I have. This is messy. Messy, 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 messy. Who this? Child. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.